गाइस वेलकम बैक टू चैनल हम हाजिर हैं सी आई गो टू 24 आवर ब्रिटिश आर्मी राशन पार्क विद मी टुडे आई वाज काइंडली डोनेटेड बाय वन ऑफ माय सब्सक्राइबर्स जॉन केसी and he asked me if I would do a review on it now there's millions of reviews out on it out on these ration packs on youtube etc but he asked me if I would do one so what he's given me is a 24 hour ration pack as i said now this is menu 7 okay so this is a vegetarian option which is fine in fact i find the vegetarian ration packs better than the other ones because the snacks seems to be a lot better they try to bump the calories up with the snacks which in my personal opinion that's even better but the main meals are fantastic themselves there's lots of things like chickpeas involved and other pulses and beans and things so i'm going to open it up now and show you exactly what's in a 24 hour british army ration pack okay Let's open it up yeah. so we start off with the blue kit So you get a brew kit with it. There's uh, white sugar. There's creamer. Like your whitener. Um, you've got a spork. You've got tissues. You've got coffee and tea bags. So that's your brew kit. She's one of the main meals now. So we've got rajma masala come down a minute to breakfast you've also got vegetable and chickpea biryani you've got cooked rice that's to go with the rajma masala so you've got two meals there Use your breakfast, which is a vegetarian all-day breakfast. You've got a dessert. I say a chocolate cake. Got some powdered drinks, because as you know, it's really, really important to keep hydrated when you're out in the field, like for us self campers and uh. Even the anglers, you know, I did take these 24 ration packs when I'm doing an overnighter. So you've got two energy drinks, just add water. Tropical fruit and nut. Lots of calories and fat for energy. You've also got chili peanuts. One of my favourites, yeah? Now oh, then. Apricot oat biscuits. Now, what we used to call these, some of you will remember, who's in the forces, AB biscuits, and that stands for excuse the language, ass blockers, and that's true. Got some more drinks, orange flavour, tropical flavour. Hot chocolate drink, that'd be nice. We've got some weatherproof matches with the striker. They're waterproof and windproof. Fantastic item. We've got six water purification tablets. What you do with them is one tablet per litre of water, leave for half hour, and you're good to do to good to go. But I will warn you. If you're drinking the water straight, it does taste like a piss-filled swimming pool. Symbol hot sauce, if you like it spicy. And last, so you can add on top of your biscuits, what I used to do is some plum jam. So that's it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cook a main meal up. To show you what kit is prepared on. Uh, one thing I should mention about the ration packs is they come in 20 different varieties. 
They do vegetarian option which we got today. They do hal hal as well. And um, they can be eaten hot or cold and on the go of course. The kit you're gonna need, you're gonna need water, because it's boiling the bag. You're gonna need some mess tins. And you can also need a hexi stove and also what I do use these days, just makes life easier, is the Fire Dragon Gels. These are fantastic, these are the cheapest chips, you get them on Amazon. I've just ordered 10 boxes of six for 20 quid. Honest to God, get on them guys. Just makes life so much easier. So that's what you're gonna need, okay? So you're gonna need water, hexi stove, some solid fuel, and mess tins, of course to boil them up in. I'm also going to show you um, a neat little trick with the ration pack. A better way of opening it so there's less mess. Even though you're given a spork, which we used to call a racing spoon, I'll come to that later. I'm going to show you a different method. Set okay? up to cook our main meal, okay? So I just want to tell you a bit about the, the Fire Dragon solid fuel, okay? So it's environmental friendly, it's 100% natural, made from rotten vegetable matter, right? It's non-toxic, doesn't taint your food, it's waterproof. <coughs> so basically, by using these, okay, you're protecting the environment, which is absolutely fabulous. Basically, a rubbish idea could save the planet, because that's what it is, it's rubbish, okay? And here's a good part that I like about it. The ethanol that's in it is UK sourced, okay? Because it's so high in ethanol, this is what I need to do before I start cooking. You can sanitize your hands in it. See? So now my hands are sterile. Another thing about it, and I'm happy to say this to be honest, it was developed by a leading team at Cardiff University here in Wales. So no more toxic fumes. Time to move from all that, okay? And another thing about it, that um, 500 ml of water takes five minutes to brew, okay? Compared to seven minutes of other solid fuels so let's get on with it so what I do I leave it in the tray I put it in the car let's get a closer look right so here we go we're gonna cook our main meal okay so we've got everything prepared ready we've got our mess tins we've got our water we've got our brew kit ready in there so we've got the two mess tins this is what I to do okay personally so you've got two sizes one larger than the other, right? So use a small one. Fold your ration pack up in half. Place it in, okay? With your sterile water, they just use your water purification tablets with. Just fill it, not too much, because the more water you put in, the longer it takes to cook, okay? Just so it's lightly covered in there. So that's ready to go there. So taking your weatherproof matches. There we go. See how easy this light? Remember to keep your strike gun, okay? So plus safe back in the bag. Right, so this is what you do. So this is what I do with the way I do it. And I define for a main meal, you need two fire dragons. If you were just brewing up a cuppa, you'd use one. I've just got these logs here for the fire guard. So this is the way I do it, guys, right? 
So the smaller tins on the on the hexi stove with the larger tin. Place it over the top and they cook a lot quicker, okay? So while that's brewing up there now, cooking, okay? I'm just gonna get my brew ready. I'm gonna have a cup of tea with this one, okay? Tea bag up the ration pack. I'm gonna use two whiteners. No, I don't use sugar, okay? I use sweeteners, so I brought my own. Because the British ration pack doesn't supply sweeteners. You know, I'm using this as a stealth camping aid. Like the boys in the British Army and the other forces of the world. They need as much sugar as they can. You know what I mean? The yomping miles and miles and kind of heavy packs and things. They need all the calories they can get. So I'm going to just use... Uh, my free sweeteners from the garage. You know the crack, guys? You know the crack. So what I'm gonna do, the water I use to brew my ration pack, I'm also gonna use for my brew. Sorry guys, the tripod fell over there with the wind. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to use that same water for my brew, as I was saying, right? And at this point, I'm going to add another fuel block, but we still got a flame, okay? I say, leave them in the trees. There you go. Wait away. Back on it goes, lid over the top, there you fell off. Right guys, so I mean it's done now. I'm using the same water. This is a bit I want to show you guys, right? So rather than opening across the top, okay? Push all the food down to the bottom and rip it across the top, look. That's just a lot easier to get to. Let's have a try over then. Yeah. That's gorgeous. That's really nice, guys. Full of protein and carbohydrate. Absolutely gorgeous. So with the ration packs guys, right, they base it around breakfast, dinner, an evening meal, okay, with snacks in between. There's plenty of brews in there, and there's plenty of fruit flavoured energy drinks. There's more than enough calories, especially for us civilians, you know, for stealth camping and car bangling. But I'll say it again, I know I'm repeating myself, but these are great to take on 24 hour sessions fishing guys, right? Now I get mine off, um, off eBay. So 24 hour ration pack can cost you anything from about £13 up 
October 18, 19 found, you know, you got to shop around, okay? They're absolutely fabulous. They're so convenient, you know? And they do taste superb. You know, you can add what we used to do. I would use the curry, curry powder on with us. We can always add like curry powder. We can even add the hot sauce that comes with, with the ration pack. I know, too fast and too spicy, but this is just right. I've got my brew now. My brew is brewing. Hot food. Brilliant. So thanks again um, to John Casey for donating a ration pack to me. I'm personally asking me to do a review because I said to him when he asked me, I said I have a thousand reviews on YouTube. He said, I want you to do it, he said. He said, you've got a way about there, you know, explaining things and that. And you've got your own little spins on things. Like, open the ration pack that way, not that way. Even though we got a racing spoon, which is long stemmed, get right down into the pack. It's just a lot easier this way. And of course, leave no trace, guys, right? Always take the rubbish home with you. Right, I'm gonna finish this now. Have my brew, and I'm gonna head out. So thanks again, John Casey. Ah, uh, we're on about 950 subs now. Super grateful, guys. Honest to God, unbelievable. Let's get us to a thousand, is it? Then we can start rocking and rolling. I have bought a new phone uh, for better picture quality, and I've also bought the microphone. It's the first time I'm using it today, so we'll. Uh, if you leave your comments down below, if you think the audio have improved. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this now and head out. And have my brew, of course. A standard, isn't it? Right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.